Crackberry.com. Hey everybody, Kevin here for Crackberry.com, and today I'm gonna rant on the BlackBerry Q10, which overall I really love, but there's one thing that's driving me freaking nuts. Speed dialing from the home screen. BlackBerry 7 got it right, this is my Bold 9900. Love the way speed dialing works. Q10, not so much. So first we're gonna look at how speed dialing should work and how BlackBerry users are used to it on a physical keyboard. From the home screen, you can program your numbers. It's really easy to do. And when you wanna call somebody, like I wanna call my fiance Erica, the letter E, I just press hold down and it dials her. Now, I don't have a SIM card in this right now, so it's saying emergency calls only, just ignore that. But you get the picture. I wanna call her, press, hold, don't have to think, done. Uh, if I wanna add a number to the phone, it's easy. From the home keyboard, I just go to a number that doesn't have anything associated with it. I press M, I wanna add Marcus, goes to the address book, I, I, that's it, he's added, done. If you wanna go and review everything, you can go to the phone app, Go to options, go into it, go to speed dial numbers, and from here you can view your saved ones. And if you wanted to add one, like let's say Adam Zeiss at the end, you could tap it, it'll take you into contacts and you can add them from there. So that's the way it should work. Press, hold, done. Now, let me pick up the BlackBerry Q10, which I love, it's a sexy beast, but dialing from the home screen, not so sexy. So I already have a couple numbers saved in here. Again, Erica, letter E. I'm on the home screen right, right now. I'm gonna press and hold, and nothing's really gonna happen. What's gonna happen is the search box will start for my universal search. Now, I do like what BlackBerry's done with uh, instant action shortcuts on, on the Q10. So if I start typing something like BBM Adam, you know, I get this action that goes, basically tap it right into BBM, right to BBMing Adam. That's awesome. But when I want to phone somebody, that's gone. So I actually, to execute on a call to, to call Erica, I need to go into the phone app. From here, it still doesn't work. If I just press on the E key, it just dials some E's in the phone app. Cancel that, because it took me into contacts automatically. I actually have to tap over into the phone dialer in the phone app. Now I can press and hold on E, and it dials three twos before it realizes I'm trying to call her hangs up because I guess I have a fake number in there now, but when I you know, end the call, it's gonna see her for a second and go away. It's kind of ridiculous. So I need to, you know, from the home screen, let me repeat that, I need to go into the phone app. Probably the people you call most are gonna be on the recents, but if I wanna use you know, a shortcut, I have to go into the dialer and then press and hold. Now, what's really weird is, you know, the E, you saw it kind of stutter there. I think it's because I programmed one of the main you know, phone number numbers as a speed dial. So if I actually do M now for Marcus, it's a much quicker execution on the call. So there's some sort of glitch where, you know, if you program one of these numbers as a speed dial, it doesn't quite treat it the same way. So that's the first part. Now, how about adding a contact as a speed dial? So if I go into the phone like we did, um, you might think, you know, go to options and settings and then go down to, to key press speed dial Here's my list of pr program numbers. There's E, you know, there's M. So maybe I want to do Adam down here. So I'm going to tap on the Z, or the Z for you Americans. Doesn't do anything. All I can actually do from this screen is press and delete one. And in this case, it's empty and I can still delete it. So to actually program Adam in, I need to go back to the phone dialer pad. And now I'm going to program, you know, Z for Zeiss, press and hold. I get a really loud, wonky dial tone as it happens. Now I can pull them up. I'm gonna type in Adam. I'm gonna hide his number for a second because I got some legit stuff in there. Okay, and now it saved him. So funny thing there, it actually saved him first try. One thing I've noticed in adding numbers is that doesn't always happen. So if I were to um, you know, add them in, uh, it then kind of doesn't save the entry. There's no confirmation that you saved them all the time. So it's kind of wonky, but again, let's say I want to call Adam. No go, that's not how you do it. You have to actually open the phone, go into here. Now I can do it. It kind of glitches with these three sevens and then it dials. Um, I just want it fixed so it works like it did here. Is that too much to ask? Because it was so good. I mean, every phone I've owned with a physical button since 1997, I think did speed dial 
you know, by pressing and holding and this somehow forgot about it or just hasn't been built in yet. I'm sure there's a big roadmap of things that have to get done. Um, but uh, that's one I'd like to bump up the priority list a little bit because uh, I'm not the only Q10 owner who's been complaining about this one. Uh, a lot of the guys who picked him up on the Mobile Nations team, it was one of the first things we said. What happened to the speed dial from the home screen? Because, you know, we use it all the time. So hopefully it comes back soon. That's my rant. Kevin, out.